Yo, it's your boy Ryan, Northwest Sports Fanatics. Back at you with a new video. Today's new video is my NFL top five linebackers going into 2023. At number five, we have from the Saints, Demario Davis. Now, he's been a long time top 10 linebacker in the NFL, and it's frightening. He's gotten better as he's gotten older. Now, last year at age 33, he recorded 109 combined tackles, career high 6.5 sack lunches, yum, 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 six passes defense, even a pick. He's been an all pro four years in a row and actually earned a Pro Bowl nod in 2022. Now he's got an 82.7 PFF grade, ranked fourth highest among linebackers last year, registered 100 combined tackles in the last six seasons, third longest active streak in the NFL. The guy is a beast. Let's take a quick peek at the stat line with Demario Davis. All right. He's played 11 seasons with the Saints, the Jets, and the Browns. 744 solo tackles, 392 assisted, 36 sack lunches, seven fumble recoveries, and three picks. Let's break down the stats a little bit more. We typically look at tackles and then combined tackles. Look at 2017 and then move forward and go down. 135 in 2017, 110, 111, 119, 105, 109. The guy is a freaking beast. I absolutely love Love, love, a.k.a. the glue, Demario Davis. At number four, this was tough. I was like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to put this individual? You know, do I want to put him higher on the list? Do I want to put him outside, you know, of my top five? I was a little, a little confused, but, I, you know, I started to break it down and I had to put my guy, Bobby Wagner, coming back to the Seahawks from the Rams at number four. And honestly, I could have put him at number three. 81 tackles, six sack lunches, no forced fumbles, and two picks. Now, Bobby Wagner, someone forgot to tell Bobby Wagner that he's old, old, old. He registered the top PFF grade among linebackers last season with a 90.7. That's why I have him at number four. Now, the Rams didn't have a very good year in 2022, but Wagner, he, he was awesome. He racked up 140 combined tackles, a career high, six sack lunches, two picks while earning all pro honors for the ninth time. Wagner now has recorded at least 104 combined tackles in each of his 11 NFL seasons. God damn, that's good. Now it goes without saying he's the longest active streak in the NFL and second longest streak since 2000 London Fletcher with 14. Now Wagner is one of the best defensive captains out there period. Now he's going back to the Hawks. Now people have been attempting to predict the downfall for years, but guess what? It hasn't happened yet. And I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Let's take a peek at the stats for Bobby Wagner. Now, 11 seasons for the Seahawks and Rams, 900 solo tackles, 623 assisted, 29.5 sack lunches, nine fumble recoveries, 13 picks. He's been selected to play in six Pro Bowls and won one championship. And then as we break down the stats, let's take a look at the tackles and then look at the combined. This is insane. 140 in 2012, 120. 104, 114, 167, 133, 138, 159, 138, 170, 140. The guy is an absolute monster, an absolute machine. I love, love, love me some Bobby Wagner. And I'm really happy that he's actually back finally with the Seahawks. At number four, I have Bobby Wagner. At number three, uh, you know, there was a couple people that I definitely could have considered at this particular spot. But, you know, your boy had to go with your guy, Obviously, Shaq Leonard. And with Shaq Leonard, you know, it's one of those things that, okay, uh, there's other guys that I probably could have put on this list, but I kind of have to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's going to come back healthy, hungry, and get back to where he was. And we're talking about Shaq Leonard. Now, he played in just three games last season due to a back and back injury and concussion. Now, he's still one of the top linebackers in the game. That's why I couldn't put him outside of my top five if he's healthy. Now, in 2021, Leonard had a second-best season of any linebacker per StatHeads AV tool. He recorded 122 combined tackles, four interceptions, eight forced fumbles, which led the league overall in the NFL. Now, he registered a 91.1 PFF run grade defense, which ranked second among all defenders in 2021. Now, it's scary that he had to, you know, kind of deal with the nerve issue. Uh, hopefully, he can be the same player that he burst on the scene in 2018 and led the league in tackles as a rookie. But we don't really know. But I do know if he ends up being healthy, right, that he is going to be, an, you know, a top three guy, top four guy. And that's why I got to put him here at number three. 
So obviously the stat line, he got injured early, only eight tackles, zero sack lunches, didn't have a whole lot. He's played five seasons for the Colts, 347 solo tackles, 193 assisted, 15 sack lunches, assemble, uh, seven fumble recoveries, excuse me, with 12 interceptions. Now he was selected to play in one Pro Bowl. He's one defensive rookie of the year. So if we look at the stats besides last year, Take a peek, look at the tackles, and then look at the combined. 154, 121, 132, 122, and then he got hurt. So I'm banking that he's going to be back on his, you know, on his ish. He's going to be on his top, 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 top tier level. And I absolutely love my guy, Darius, a.k.a. Shaq Leonard. And I might have put him a little bit higher than he deserved. Maybe I could have put Demario Davis, Bobby Wagner, Levante David, those type of guys higher. But I got to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's going to be healthy. I got him at number three. At number two. You already know what it is. It's our guy, formerly of the Bears, now with the Ravens, Roquan Smith. This guy is an absolute stud. We already knew that how good he was going to be, obviously, going in. The guy is a freak. The guy is phenomenal, and I don't see him slowing down really one bit. Now, as we go with Roquan Smith, okay, let's take a peek at him. Baltimore Ravens sent the Bears a second-round pick and a fifth-round pick for the star linebacker Roquan Smith at the trade deadline last year. Now, they're sure happy they did. Now, in 17 total games with the Ravens and Bears, Smith recorded a career-high 169 combined tackles, third in the NFL, 4.5 sack lunches, yum, 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 six passes defense, and three interceptions. Now, Smith improved the Baltimore defense in a big way, and the stats prove it. In weeks one through eight without Smith, the Ravens allowed 22.9 points per game and obviously 364.3 total yards per game. In weeks nine through 18 with Smith, those numbers dropped to 14.7 points per game and 288.8 yards per game. Smith also helped drop the Ravens' yards allowed per rush from 4.4 to 3.5, a freaking stud. Now, this offseason, Smith agreed to a five-year, $100 million extension. Get that dollars, my guy. Now, that made him the highest-paid linebacker in NFL history at the moment. Last year, he became just the third player in the last 30 seasons to record 150 tackles, three sack lunches, yum, 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 Three interceptions in a season, joining Patrick Willis and Ray Lewis. Great company. Now, the 26-year-old was a first-team All-Pro for the first time in his career and made his first Pro Bowl. The guy is an absolute freaking stud. Let's take a quick deep dive inside of Roquan Smith. Now, as we take a peek, 103 tackles, 4.5 sack lunches, zero force fumble, three picks. He's played five seasons for the Bears and the Ravens. 451 solo tackles, 242 assisted, 18.5 sack lunches, one fumble recovery, and eight picks. Now look at the stat line, look at the tackles, and then go to the combined. 121, 101, 139, 163, a couple low ones, 83 and 86. And then obviously as we go, uh, and that was a combined number with the 83, 8 and 86 to get you a total of actually 169. So it's not separate numbers, 83 for Chicago, and that was it. And then 86 for Baltimore. Now, 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 you got to put them together. 169. So 121, 101, 139, 163, and 169. The guy is an absolute beast. I love him. At number two, I got my guy, Roquan Smith. And at number one, you already know what it is. We already knew he was going to be there at some point. It's just a matter of when will you be the number one guy. And we're talking about bang, bang, Niner gang. We're talking about Fred Warner. Now, he didn't have a monster campaign in 2021 after being named a first-team All-Pro the year prior, but he certainly returned back to form in 2022. Now, that BYU product recorded 130 combined tackles, two sack lunches, yum, 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 career-high 10 passes defense, and a pick last season. Now, Fred Warner's... 85.7 PFF grade ranked second behind legendary Bobby Wagner. And he, uh, he's recorded at least 118 combined tackles in each of his first five NFL seasons. Now, Warner is a two-time first-team All-Pro and a two-time Pro Bowler. Now, Warner is a kind of a well-rounded linebacker you want captaining your defense. We already know how great they are with Bosa and the rest of the guys they have on the squad. Now, I think this establishes him as, as the number one linebacker in the ability to obviously cover. Now, Warner undoubtedly is one of the best cover linebackers in the NFL, if not the best. Usually a linebacker lining up against a running back or a slot receiver spells mismatch, but not about Fred Warner. The guy is an absolute freaking stud. Let's take a quick peek at the stat line. Fred Warner, he's played five seasons for Bang Bang Niner Gang, 411 solo tackles, 223 assisted, 6.5 sack lunches, six fumble recoveries, and four picks. And let's take a quick peek at the stats. And you can take a look at the tackles 
and then take a peek over to the combine. 124, 118, 125, 137, 130. There's not a lot of guys that can go sideline to sideline like Fred Warner. The guy is an absolute stud. And there's a lot of other guys on this list that I definitely could have mentioned that I want to give a quick shout out before we end the video. My guy, Levante David, could have been in the top five. I could have left Shaq Leonard out. Uh, Matt Milano from the Bills, absolute stud. Tremaine Edmonds going from the Bills to the Bears, absolute stud. Dre Greenlaw, Fred Warner's teammate, absolute stud, as well as the Chiefs, Nick Bolton. So there's a lot of guys that I could have mentioned, but I wanted to be able to give you my top five linebackers going into 2023. So a quick recap. At number five for the Saints, who dat? Demario Davis, a.k.a. the glue. At number four, the 12th man, Seahawks. Number four, Bobby Wagner. At number three, I got to go with my guy, even though he was injured last year, Darius, a.k.a. Shaq Leonard, Shaquille Leonard from the Colts. At number two, we got Roquan Smith from the Ravens and the Ravens flock. And at number one, bang, bang, Niner gang, we got Fred Warner, Bay Bay. So make sure you guys comment below. Let me know your top five. And if there's anyone that I did not mention, please comment below. And I'll be back with another top five video, maybe safety or corner tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Gang.